What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm here with Miguel. Yo, Miguel did something spicy today. So today we're at uh, the Niagara Regionals and you came 11th place? 11th place. So top 16 at the Niagara Regionals and what were you playing today? Heroes. He's playing none other than the deck. None other than the deck itself. Godly deck. One of the best rogue decks of life. I'm gonna let you take over from here. Uh, he had some spice that he's gonna show off later as well. So I'm excited. Let's get into it. Alright, we're gonna start it off. Your elemental hero lineup one stratos that's all you need one stratos one i don't only need one this if this resolves your opponent's cooked like there's just, you just need the one like other builds you can probably get away with two three is outrageous but i only need the one because i just need to search once after that it's over it's a wrap once this resolves okay a uh, solid soldier liquid soldier honest neos and double elemental hero shadow mist this goes for the elemental hero lineup this and this are Solid Soldier and Liquid Soldier are insane, especially if you can fuse these two to make Sunrise. Oh man, you generate so much value, it's insane. And be able to be able, being able to use both effects of um, Solid Soldier is just too strong. And then Water Boy is good, and then Standard Elemental. Standard. Yeah, Standard lineup. This feels like such a slow, or not slow, a low count, I should say. Yeah. But you, that's all you need? That's all you need. That's all right. All you need. Uh, Destiny Heroes, uh, one Plasma, Standard, uh, two Mallies, one Denier, one Dark Angel. Plasma skill drain, Mali standard, denier, like third Mali. Yeah, pretty much third Mali. And you already know the Imperial Order lock. Cards OP. I crushed a lot of cash mans with it. It just it just puts in so much work. It prevents evenly and lightning storm and all these things from just destroying our boards. Uh, standard D hero lineup. You're going first with this deck every time, right? First, yeah. Okay. Um three Vision Hero Ferris, two Vion, and two Increase. Um, I know a lot of hero players play one increase. I, I find that incorrect. If you face cash and they happen to rip that one off the top, you're, you're absolutely cooked. And then in grind games, the second one does come up because you can noise like if this one's in the grave and then you take damage, you can just tribute increase, bring out another increase and continue the combo. I like this ratio. It's very good. Okay. I don't break down. Uh, as for the two hand traps, uh, monster hand traps, I just play two ash. Uh, I don't like three. Um, I'll, I never seen this card all game, but like, and I barely faced branded. I only played it against once, but um, it has its applications. But I don't like it at three. Okay. Yeah. How many cards in the main deck like, total? Forty. So you're forty on the dollar. Okay. As for the spell lineup, triple hero lives standard. Triple destiny fusion. This card, fusion destiny. This card's insane. These cards are just pure gas. Two talents, <laughs> two allure, because you want to dig. Uh, the the the, th the theory is with Liquid Soldier, Talents and Allure, you just keep digging until you get into your combo pieces. Okay. So essentially, you you'll get everything you need just off Liquid Soldier, Allure, digging and and Talents if you if they happen to interrupt you. And your main Allure targets, I'm assuming, are the Destiny Heroes. Yes. Okay. Or just yeah. Shadow Miss, possible. I guess as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, three Mass Change, and uh, I know a lot of hero players cut it to two because like they, they like the the Wake Up Your Hero. Um, I still like three. Other than Cash, Dark Law is still MVP of the deck. Yeah. And just dodging be able to dodge certain things, it just actually makes this deck like pure gas. Like, uh, I love this deck. On to the one ofs. One Call By, one Rhoda, one Miracle Fusion, one Polly, and I play the one Twin Twister. Um, I just don't like back row. I don't want to know what you're playing. I was up against Trap Trick round one, and like, uh, like, he broke my board, and I came back because I had Twin Twister set, and I Twin Twister discarded the Shadow Mist, and oh, got value. Crazy. It was just insane. Yeah. And the two Imperms. Um, Imperms are just, like, you know, standard. Uh, I would like to play three, but right now I just have room for two. Okay. That's fair. Just keeping it at 40. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we can go with the extra deck. Yeah, extra deck. Three Dark Loss. Um, other than cash, again, um, every deck needs to add. And every deck, most decks need Graveyard. And Dark Claw comes clutch. Um, you probably get away with two, but my deck is my deck is Hand Rip Control, as I will tell you later on in the combos. Okay. Um, one Blast, one Anki. A lot of people cut him. I think he's still godly because he can push for OTK. And being able to, when it's getting close to time, you can split its attack in half and attack directly. Really amazing. Uh, but that's the Master Hero lineup. Uh, as for the Destiny Hero lineup, Double Enforcer, you already know because of Cash and Bestial, so you have to play two. Um, and when Dystopia, this is there for time, but if its attack has changed, it's a Dryden, quick effect pop. It's really good. Yeah, really good. 
uh, elemental heroes. Uh, one sunrise, one absolute zero. Um, no need to play acid because like you're not gonna summon absolute for turn one. Um, sunrise, just your standard lineup. And the one Trinity. Um, I haven't tested Wake Up. It's a pretty good card, but as for right now, I like Trinity because people still leave their monster in attack, and I can just boom, boom, this, boom. Yeah, I, this honest news, it's, it's a wrap. Yeah. And as for the links, uh, two Crusaders, one Wonder Driver, and one Decimeter. This is standard. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Now the spice comes in. The spice is. And I want you to talk about this because you were talking to me about it earlier, and it was it was pretty nice. Yeah. We're gonna start off with Triple Exchange. This right. card is insane. So, as a hero player, you know, we, we have we, we have a problem losing to some dumb hand traps. So, how Exchange works is you set your best cards and then activate Exchange, and you get the knowledge, and then you can basically play around what they have. So, you set your uh, Hero Lives, your Destiny Fusion, and then after you you, you activate exchange, you swap cards, and then you get to know what it is, and then you play around everything you need to know. Very good card. It's not hard once per turn, so if you keep digging with like uh, the draw package, you can you can uh, do multiple exchanges and, and then like give them a lot of bricks and then be able to like mess up their plays. You use this a lot today, yeah? Yes, I resolve this card like every game. This card is like literally like hero players, they're like, oh, hero players have problems with Nib. Um, yes, we have a problem with Nib, but this card helps us play around Nib. And also, we can really push through Nib, but this card just like, you knowledge just power in this game, and this card ensures that. I used to play Prohibition for Nib, but like, this card is like insane. Shout out to Fahim. Um, triple Ruler no more. Can't do uh, Droplets because uh, Arise Heart just says no. Yep. Um, stands for Cracking Boards. Helped me win so many games. Uh, triple Eclipse. Standard. Uh, for cash, um, one duster, one lightning storm, two twin because I do not like any type of back row deck. I want to be able to pave and push for game. And okay. uh, yeah, this this deck has it can go through back row, but not not entirely. And uh, the last two two eradicators. This and angels FTK. So if you're facing say against like a trap based deck, you give them angel. They're already locked out of spells. You activate this. You hit them. Call traps. And they're cooked. And then if you have a DPE still waiting for whatever they summon, the follow up's insane. You just crush them. And then this, this versus like runic variants, they like you. You give them an angel, and then you do this. You do a rat on the on the on the draw phase, and then they try to you, you they attempt to try to chain like their runic cards, but angels on the board, so it's negating so all the spells. Yeah. And then it's just you just cook them. Um, I love this list a lot. I wouldn't change it for anything. Um, I was, I didn't face much branded players, so. What were your matchups like? Like, I faced, I faced Trap Trick, I faced Branded, I faced Sprite, I faced Tri Brigade Sprite, I faced um, Cash, I faced Sprite again, I faced Cash, and then I faced uh, Runic, Runic, uh, Nature Runic. Okay, yeah, there was eight rounds today. Yeah. Okay, so pretty meta. Like, you, you saw meta decks. Yeah. It's not like you saw, like, Rogue all day. No, no, I saw nothing but straight meta decks. But this deck is pure gas. It, it, this deck is really good, but it, it comes down to how you... It, you just need, this deck needs a good pilot, and, yep. like, the tech choices are very important to how far you can go with this deck. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. I wouldn't... I love playing this deck. I've been playing this deck for... For a while now. For a while. Yeah. So, like, this deck is just amazing. Congratulations again. Um, this is a really nice deck profile. I think I'm gonna start trying the exchange, bro. The exchange makes so much sense. Like you're not only hitting the nib, ash, but if your opponent doesn't have those hand traps, you know what they're playing, and then you build your board based on what they're playing. Exactly. That, that's a really smart tech. Mm. All right, congratulations again, bro. Thank you, Miguel, for the deck profile. I appreciate it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And with that, Spanko and Miguel signing out. Peace.